Throwback 44 is back for another season of vintage high school basketball games. Every Tuesday night at 8 o'clock on WSN, we'll travel back in time. This week, we revisit 2004 with Otto Glandorf's district semifinal game against Faustoria. A showdown of a pair of talented brothers. OG, of course, led by the Pollitz twins, Tim and Eric. While Faustoria had the Deeblers, Jake, then a junior, and John in his freshman season. That's this Tuesday at 10 on WOSN. Well, Austin Scott throws it back and throws it down for this week's Layfield Welding Top 5 Plays. We head to the Cube in Finley for the first shift of this week's countdown. With a man in the penalty box, the Trojans try to clear the puck. It's picked up by Brandon Armstrong at the blue line on the breakaway, and he sneaks the puck just inside the post for the shorthanded goal. Zach Goki entered last Friday's game against Ada, nine points shy of 1,000 in his career, and he takes the fourth spot. The three-pointer here brings him within six points of the century mark, and he goes on to score 16 in the game to officially enter the 1,000-point club as a Bearcat. We go to Van Wert for play number three, but the visiting Shawnee Indians take the spotlight. Time winding down in the first, and Sean McDonald takes a shot from my calculations 30 feet three and a quarter inches from the basket and beats the buzzer. That was Shawnee's only points in the first quarter. The Lima Senior Spartans were ranked number two in this week's AP poll, and they're also runner-up on our countdown. Recently baptized Jalen Thomas gets the steal, and he'll slam this one home with a big amen. Our top play was submitted to us by at Corey J. May on Twitter as Versailles hosts St. Henry. With the game tied at 51 and three seconds left, the Tigers go to Alex Wendell and holy garbanzo beans. That's the game winner at the buzzer. 54-51 Versailles as they stay atop of the MAC standings. This week's countdown had it all in my book. Buzzer beaters, a milestone, dunk, and even a shorty. Make sure you check back next week for more of the Leifeld Welding Top 5 Plays.